welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we're going to go to the 70th anniversary of the Morris Traveller at the Great British Car Experience at Ambergate. So come with us. There's only three of us going. We'll see you there. First stop this morning. We've had to go to McDonald's and get a coffee. Waiting for Lord Jackson coming. He's had to wake Buzz the dog up. The three cars travelling today. Bleach Morris Minor. Steve Zetel. And Lee's A40. Next stop, Ambergate. Right, we've arrived at Ambergate. We're going to take you a walk up the row of cars. These are on the back wall up to the museum. You have to excuse the rain. It's not a very nice day. But there is a lot here. I've seen that one before, the ex-army one. A late one on the K. That one's got halo headlights in it. An old oats of white ones. That's the first row. Genuine three owners, thirty thousand pound. Side, we've got some miners. Nearly one, There's one of the last ones. Convertible. A Torah. A little bit better than the one we collected the other week. And back to the travellers. Look at that one, on a P-Reg. It's obviously been registered back in this country after it's been out of the country. Or an ex-military one. Another one on an N-Reg. Adventures with Albert. Look at that one. It's a bit bright and yellow. Yeah, very nice. Then we've got the three that we came in. So Vauxhall Viva, 1.6 over red cam. This would have been quite a sporty car when this was uh, first coming off the production line. It's got a nice set of chrome slot mags on it. It's quite a nice car. HB Viva. Yeah, 
the black leather look interior. Quite a nice thing that. That there, if we can get it for you, that's the write up for it. Just a few of the cars that's in. Mm, showing you filming here before, so there's just a few extra ones this time. Singer, Shamwar, Hillman Imp. That's a Gilburn. It's Wolseley 1660. Austin 7 Mini 1959, first year of production. Traveller, series two. Split screen. Traffic eighty missing. And that one. There's a tour of the collapsible rear windows. Oh, and the expensive clock. They don't all come with the clock in. The Clostins. front of the low light 1950 and that's the one there that's been restored in Trafalgar Blue that'll do it for inside back in a bit It's a Mark One Mini, nineteen sixty six. Are you looking at them or not? Austin A40. 
Rubber bumper MG. <laughs> There's not much room in here between the cars. It's a nice thousand convertible. It's convertible, not a tour. Series 3, I think. Smaller back lights. The 1300 GT, Elman Imp, Marina Coupe. Believe that's a Roman Avenger, maybe Chrysler badge, but would have been an Avenger. A little midget. Ford Escort Cabriolet Fiesta in the corner and Mini Metro Austin A30 that's a nice registration I do believe Elton on Barn Finds UK just bought one of them very similar colour that's just some of the cars that you can actually drive here at the Great British Car Journey. Small collection of micro cars. This one's a strange looking thing. And the famous Peel P50, built on the Isle of Man. I think they're C5. little tin car that one it's a strange looking device single seater forty mile an hour it's a little on the clock 13,906 actual miles something I've never seen before there's the plate for it some strange things I'm not sure what this one is Berkeley maybe Get a better shot of it. Anybody tell me what that is? Leave us a message below. What's the interior for it? And that's got 80 miles an hour as the maximum on the clock. Doubt it would do that. Say on the back, Reliant. No, it's a Reliant of some type. Don't know what year. That 
it's the uh, little micro cars. Here's one for the Ford fans. Daytona Yellow. Mark 1 four door Escort. And that is a 1300 GT. Six clock dash. Definitely Austin with the amount of badges on it. An Austin Atlantic convertible. Can't remember seeing this the last time we came here. Forty nine. That looks like an Austin Metropolitan. Austin Seven with its little side valve engine and a caravan. factor on that would be good above that little lost in seven but I think this actually is a fold down caravan surely that folds in it must do and that's the interior is that the registration on the car Oh, it certainly is. Interesting. Some very nice posters here. Looks all Victor there. Been around the museum again. We're back outside now with the cars. Some of the travellers are starting to leave now. It's been raining most of the day. We have quite a few cars here. There's one leaving there, flying the Union Jack, giving us a pip. There is white ones, and the old English white one there. Not sure what that shade of blue is. It must have been a uh, Ministry of Defence car at one time with that red on it. That looks like gun metal with angel eyes headlights in it. Brown and blue one, white ones, red ones, smoke grey, almond green, different coloured greens. It's one of the earliest surviving ones, fourth oldest one surviving, apparently. Around here, we've got a yellow one. And 
the split screen one. People looking at our retail. Ridge, lime flower. A few more late arrivals over here. Well, that's about it, folks. more saloons there, another one leaving, and here edge, powder blue, that's it for today folks, a lot of people are getting ready to go, so if you've liked this video, consider pressing the like button, share it with your friends, and give us a subscribe, see you next time.